Hey, it's TT Be More Twin Flame. And hey, oof, my sinuses. Ah, oh, how you doing? How you doing? It's Monday. So, I gotta talk, my twin flame. I gotta talk. Ah. So, it's really sunny right now. I hate it. I hate driving during the day. I hate the daytime. But anyway, so, like and subscribe to me. I talk. It's really loud. I'm on the Beltway. This is Baltimore. Twin flame stuff from Baltimore. I'm on the Beltway. High traffic. You can't avoid it when you drive if you drive during the day. I drive for Lyft. Can't really see me, but whatever. Washed my hair last night. <laughs> whatever. Uh, very low maintenance. Uh, so anyway. I didn't want to have my sunglasses on and talk through my sunglasses, but God, it's bright out here, so, but it's me, it's me, um, so, let's see, and my stomach, my sinuses and my stomach, my sinuses are so bad, I can't even breathe through my nose, it's real hard, so, alright, I moved, um, I have my own place. I used to live with my ex-husband. Now, yeah, I used to live with my ex-husband, my first husband. We've been divorced 20 years. I lived with him for five years. Me and my kids from my second marriage and my kids from, with him. We all lived in his townhouse for about five years. Really too small. It really helped me. I paid $800 five years I paid $800 and it benefited him to get $800 income and it really helped me to bond with my older kids and I got to be with Kevin the last five years of his life because um, he died last year from COVID his ashes so okay so I just moved out and me and my younger kids, we moved into our, we moved uh, less than a mile away. My kids stay in the same school district, same school. And I think they have a different bus. But anyway, so that was good. Barely disrupted their life. And we moved into a two bedroom basement apartment from of a house. And um, it's all I could afford. But I'm on my own. I don't get child support from my kids. My two youngest kids. He's an addict, alcoholic. I don't know. He's always... I, I don't know. He apparently can't... It's really hard for me because he wants to be, you know, happy, fun dad. And take him to the movies and take him skating. But he doesn't want to pay child support. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so that's... I don't understand that. You can't help with food, shelter, clothing, but you can, okay. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So anyway, this is what's, this is my twin flame journey. So let's talk about my twin flame journey. I'm extremely tired right now. Sun, ugh, I'm not a big fan of, but a lot of change in my life. Okay. So Usually, I see my twin flame. I mean, there isn't a usual changes every now and then, but it's been pretty consistent for a little bit. Every Sunday night, I spend every other Sunday night, I spend the night with him. Um, so every two weeks, we spend the night together. We talk on the phone, whatever. He used to call me Monday through Thursday in the evening, afternoon when he got off work, but. It's just random now when he calls. It's sporadic. He definitely keeps me out of his life. And it hurts my feelings all the time. And and I used to get angry over it. And now I try to release that anger and send him, you know, good energy. 
but I have to process through why it feels so much like rejection and it feels like he doesn't like me, that he's not into me. Because if that's exactly what it feels like, when you only see me once every two weeks and we spend the night together, but we're not doing anything, I'm not a part of your life, you know, it, it really, yeah, it's not satisfying. It's not enough for me. I want more. So I always, you know, feel rejected and feel abandoned. Like, it's hard to be that close to him and then not talk to him for a couple days afterward. You know, that's not me. I'm a real soft, I want a relationship. I want to be married. I like that. So, um, independent is not what I would call me. Um, so, dealing with all the negative energy from that. And I believe that my twin flame is doing what is for my highest good. He is, he loves me and he is divinely guided. So, but it doesn't feel like that. Of course, twin flames are the same. That's why it's called twin. He loves me as much as I love him and all that. It's just, he's guided and I have to, I don't have to. I choose to trust that. I'm called to trust that. I'm called to let his behavior have its way with me. If You know what I, that means? Release him from control make sense I'm called to let go of control of him and let his behavior do whatever let myself feel whatever his behavior causes me to feel because if it's negative I have to let that come up I have to heal that because if there's separation abandonment rejection I got to keep healing that until that's that doesn't come up anymore. Because with twin flames, you are never separate. You are never rejected. You are definitely never abandoned. Twin flame is divine energy. It's divine, unconditional love. You are never separate from divine, unconditional love. Never. That's an illusion. That's a lie. So I have to allow whatever his behavior is making me feel, I have to face that. I have to heal that in my life so that it's gone from my energy so I stop attracting it. So it doesn't have power over me anymore. You cannot pressure your twin flame. You cannot make your twin flame fill your holes like you have to let the universe and yourself heal you and you are enough you cannot be codependent in twin flame it's for your highest good it doesn't feel good and if it doesn't feel good then that's rejection abandonment separation that's got to go you're never being separated. You're never being rejected and you're never being, ab being abandoned. So that can't be in you. You cannot, you, that mindset can't be there. That heart can't feel that. So you have to eradicate those energies from your life. Say, no, no, that's not the truth. The truth is I am loved. The truth is, I am beautiful. The truth is, I am never without him. I am never without love. I am loved. I am special. I am beautiful. Everything happens in perfect timing, perfectly. So I don't need to wrestle with my twin flame. I need to accept and allow. responsible for my well-being. I am responsible for my happiness. I cannot be giving my power away to anybody. I have got to take care of myself and, and my life has got to fulfill me. I have to have a full life. I have to find my purpose and live in my passion and my purpose. I can't let any other energy dominate me or rule me or control me. 
or dictate to me my feelings, my whether I'm valuable or not. I am valuable. My twin flame values me. Okay, maybe you can think of it as his higher self. You connect with your twin flame spiritually. It's a spiritual connection. So just like you have a spiritual body, your, your energy and your spirit, you are spiritual. And you have different versions of yourself that are that have not yet manifested into this physical world. So you have to go and connect with your higher power or your higher self. And you have to connect to your twin flame's higher self. And you have to let that love and that positive energy and that healing flow into you. You cannot connect with rejection and abandonment and separation. That cannot come onto you, into your aura. I promise you that. So, God, I have heartburn really bad too. I was trying to burn. So it's been a rough day for me, but that when it's a rough day, I'm not taking it out on anybody. I'm not expecting anybody to, to support me and help me and fulfill me. I take care of me and that's healthy. That's right. That's good. I am not a victim. <laughs> I am not called to be codependent. I manifest my vibration and I am loved. I am beautiful. I am valuable. I am valued. I am respected. That's the way it is and that's how the universe sees me and relates to me. Not you don't want to always be codependent and be rejected and be insecure. You got to be secure. You got to know that is your twin flame and you are their twin flame. There is no, it's a perfect match and it is harmonious and it is well. What you keep allowing will continue. It doesn't mean that people get that twisted. They think, oh, well, what you allow, the energies that you allow to dictate you and control you will stay. That doesn't mean people and their behavior. It means the energy. You have to know that you are loved beyond measure by your twin flame. That there is nobody better for your twin flame than you. You have to know that you are one. You have to know that you are beautiful. You have to know that you are valuable. You have to know that you are precious. You have to know and trust and believe in those things and believe in abundance more than lack. Believe it and with faith versus fear. Security versus insecurity. It's very important now. I know as times it's getting more and more intense and you're going to manifest. Your energy is going to manifest. So if you're insecure, you're going to manifest that over and over and over. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you do. You've got to heal it. You've got to say, no, it's not getting through this. Your aura, or you can call it your armor. You got to know you're loved. You got to know you're special. You got to know you're provided for. You got to know your purpose. You got to know you're, that's your person and you're their person. You got to, you got to choose it. You got to choose love. You got to choose hope. You got to choose faith. You got to choose it. Choose abundance. Okay? Life goes well for you if you believe it goes well for you. You are the authority in your life, and that you have free will, and you get to make the decision whether you're in lack or abundance, whether you're loved or rejected, whether you're. Uh, in separation or union, you decide. Make that choice today. I am choosing that life goes well for me. I get what I want. My twin flame loves me always and always does what's best. And I trust that. And I believe that no matter what I see or feel. No matter what you see or feel. You got to eradicate that from your thinking, from your belief system, from your heart. And then from your reality from your universe. You are the creator. You are the authority of your life, of what you give power to. Give power to faith. 
Give power to union. Give power to abundance and money. Give power to perfection at the right place at the right time. Give power to that you, you are blessed, that you are powerful, that you are strong, that you are beautiful, that things work out for you. That your twin is your twin flame is yours and you are your twin flame and you honor and believe in each other and trust in each other and that nothing and no one comes between you. You have to choose the energy that you want in your life and you have to be it. This is a powerful video. Like it, share it, get it out there. Twin flames are important. You are important to your neighbor, to your coworkers, to your community. And your twin flame is your greatest tool to manifest, to be whole and to heal and to manifest everything you desire. So open your heart, open your mind and allow it. Allow the good energy. Let go of negative energy. It will never benefit you. Let go. Cry it out. Talk it out. Let it go. Let go of the thought of abandonment. Let go of the thought of trauma. It's gone. Let go of the anger. Let go of the fear, fear, fear. Let go. Let go of control. The illusion of control. Let go. There is no rejection in love. You are perfectly loved.